Hello and what's up guys? In the previous video, uh, I started uh, by talking about the CMake documentation and uh, this video will be a follow-up uh, in which I will talk about uh, additional commands and variables that are much needed in the CMake file, uh, cmakelist.txt file. Uh, so uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification button to stay updated and I advise you to watch this video to the end. So let's start. Okay, so just to continue with the, the commands. All right. So uh, there are things that are like uh, used in C++ and they are like this, these same concepts are used in CMake, but with a slight or uh, differences in their syntax. Uh, for example, in CMake, you have conditional blocks. You can use if statements and here you will put the condition, obviously. Uh, you will have uh, else if and else. And of course, if you want to close the conditional block, you need to use the end word in front of if. Uh, now for the loops, uh, I have already talked about the for each loop in the previous video. Uh, and this is used in order to iterate over a list, let's say, if you want to uh, process each element of this list on its own. And also you will have the uh, while loop. And uh, of course, uh, similarly, you will use the end in front of it to close the loop block. And uh, just like in any language, you can use the break and the continue uh, commands inside these loops in order to like get out of this loop uh, in the case of a break or uh, transfer the flow of command into the condition in, uh, in the case of continue. Also inside the CMake, you can define your own function. Uh, and in order to do that, you will put the reserved word function uh, followed by its name and the arguments, uh, of course, inside square brackets, if any. Now here you will define the body of the function and you can close the block using end function. And if you want to call this function, uh, you will use its name uh, and between parentheses, the arguments, of course, if any. Now, also in CMake, you can, you can define macros, and macros are essentially just like functions. They are very similar to functions, but of course, uh, some minor uh, differences exist between them. One of these differences, uh, per se, is that if you call the macro, uh, of course, using its name, uh, the flow of execution will execute this macro in a place. So uh, unlike the execution of the function where the flow of command uh, will go from where you called the function into where its body is defined in order to execute it there where it is defined. So this is one of the differences. But uh, if you don't like, uh, uh, if you don't need this like level of details or you don't like, uh, code at such level, you won't notice the difference between them. Now, of course, you can uh, write commands in the CMake file. Uh, so if you want to define a certain, to write a certain line command, you will use the square symbol. Uh, and if you want to write a multi-line command, you will do the same thing. But in this, uh, in this case, you will uh, like enclose the command in double square brackets. Now that's it for the commands. Uh, now let me go over uh, so, uh, some of the commonly used variables inside CMake. You will have the CMake CXX standard, uh, and this is what we call a flag, and this will define the C++ standard that you need to follow while building your package. For example, you can set it to 14, and how to do that? As I told you uh, before, uh, you use the set command, you put the name of the variable and followed by the number 14, for example. Now you will have the CMake binary directory variable and this variable will hold the full path 
of the top build tree uh, or binary tree uh, inside your package, which means, in other words, uh, this is your workspace, your overlay full path, uh, followed by build, this is the build directory, and then the project name, which is the package name uh, that you have just created. So this is the full path, uh, this variable holds this full path. Now, uh, of course, for example, sometimes you need, you might need to uh, like create certain variables and put them somewhere in a target desired, in a desired target uh, directory, for example. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, you will use the following paths or the following variables uh, to define such paths. Uh, for example, if you are building a certain executable and you want to put it somewhere, uh, you will use the CMake runtime output directory or the executable, uh, the executable output path. And if you set either of these variables uh, to a certain path, the executable will be uh, will go there, will be created there. Uh, if you have uh, like a certain shared library or a static library, you don't need to worry about the differences uh, between these two types of libraries for now. Uh, you just need to know that uh, each of these libraries uh, has a different uh, variable that will hold the uh, target or the desired directory in which you wish, uh, you wish it to be there or to be created there. Uh, now you will have the required uh, uh, keyword, let's say, and uh, this is not like entirely a variable. This is more of an extension to a command. And more specifically, it is used in the find package command where you put the package name uh, for the package that you will need to find. And if you followed it by, if you follow it by uh, required uh, word, then uh, the, uh, the CMake list.txt file will give a certain exception, will throw an exception uh, during the building process if the package was not found. And this is obviously uh, done in case the package is very essential to build your package that you don't want the building process to proceed uh, unless you find it. Now, one last note uh, is that the commands inside CMake are case, sensi are case insensitive. Uh, so you can put them the way you want, but usually they uh, use like lowercase letters in order to write commands as you have noticed from the uh, last couple of videos. As for the variables, they are case sensitive and uh, usually they are written in uppercase as you have just uh, uh, noticed. So, uh, I mean, this is, these are the uh, like most commonly encountered variables and commands inside CMake. Uh, so for the next uh, couple of for the next couple of videos, I will write the cmakelist.txt files for both the uh, publisher and the subscriber nodes. So uh, stay tuned. And for now, I bid you farewell, and I hope to see you guys later on.